Despite the fact that globalization has brought a radical change in the status of women, yet at the same time, it can't change the enduring male chauvinism, which feels proud and slandering females. The recent fuming example of the same is an unfortunate incident that happened on the evening of November 23, in pursuit of which clashes broke out at the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology in Bhuvneshwar on November 24th. The issue allegedly pertains to lewd comments passed on to a female student a day earlier, when a B.Tech mechanical engineering student pursuing second year professedly harassed a final year female law student. The boys' hostel is situated outside the law campus, and the student allegedly responsible for Eve teasing was made to apologize for his misbehavior pretty soon by the female law students. But on the following day, November 24th, a horde of engineering students rampaged into the law campus and crossed every limit of violence, which resulted in injuring several students. Some of them have even been admitted to intensive care unit, the ICU, as per the information received from the sources. The assailants, who were actually in disguise of engineering students, most probably BTEC students, have used rocks, bricks, sticks, bats, stones and alcohol bottles as weapons. Nonetheless, the sources say that after the clashes on Sunday, November 25, at around 2.30 a.m., School of Law along with the hostel has been vacated and the SRPF has taken over the campus. However, the college administration amidst all these floated the following message on the official website of the KIIT. A few sources and viral recordings show that engineering students entered the hostel building, ransacked it and attacked over the other students. Whereas, in an exclusive interview from a BTEC student to Army Legal and through similar viral posts, which are additionally advancing, engineering students point that the violent conflict was initiated from law students' side as they roughed up an innocent student for the incident. Although, photos and videos portray a completely different story. The truth behind the scenes would only be revealed after further probe in the case. An FIR has already been launched at the InfoCity Police Station. Meanwhile, the students have also put forward their demands before an authority to rusticate and arrest the assailants and to make them compensate for the injuries occurred to the students as well as for the damage of the property. Citing the conflict, the examination scheduled in the last week of November in the Engineering College has been postponed till next year, as told to Army Legal by a student in an exclusive interview. It has also been reported that the roads and passes near KIIT campus have been blocked and students have been forcefully removed from their hostels as per our sources. Having no shelter or place to go, some students have even been reported to be roaming around on the streets of the city in the night.